Hey guys, what's up? This is Al from Nintendo Race World here with the advanced hardware review for you guys of my T-Mobile G1. We're going to be taking a look at the handset itself in depth. I'll be talking about some of the specifications of the device itself internally and externally and showing you the device in depth just so you guys can get a feel of what you'll get if you are new to buying the T-Mobile G1. I've gotten a few people saying they're actually going out to get it, so um, pretty surprising that this thing is still selling. Regardless of that, um, this was the very first Android device. It's hardware manufactured by HTC for T-Mobile, thankfully supporting T-Mobile's 3G network and Edge network. It has Wi-Fi, it has Bluetooth, it has a GPS, it has a compass inside so you can use Google Maps rotating your phone, which is a pretty cool feature. It has all the other smartphone features that you would expect. So let's go ahead and get started and take a look at the device itself. Alright guys, so here's the handset itself. You'll see it's actually not that big a device. It is pretty thick. Um, but for the most part, you know, it's a, it's a pretty slim device for the fact that it has a full five row QWERTY keyboard. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Uh, first off, talking about the display here. This is a capacitive touchscreen. Now it does have multi-touch, but out of the box it does not come enabled. You have to root your device to get features like that on this display. The display itself is an LCD TFT screen with an HVGA pixel resolution of 480 up and down, 320 left to right. Pretty decent display, pretty much the standard of the iPhone 3GS, just on a smaller screen, so the DPI is going to be a little bit higher. Got the T-Mobile branding there and an ear speaker grill, which also packs an LED notification light that can flash a few different colors. Going beneath the display here, we got the uh, physical menu key, physical call send key, and physical, physical call end key, which is also the power button. And here we got the physical home and back keys as well as a trackball that's not LED backlit. It does roll around, it's a mechanical trackball, pretty responsive. On the left side of the device you got the HTC branding. This device is manufactured by HTC like I said in the beginning of this video. And there we got the volume rocker. Moving down a little bit we got the micro SD card slot which we can hot swap during the phone actually being on. It comes with a 1GB which isn't that much. There we got the microphone pinhole on the bottom and this little covered slot which when revealed reveals HTC's proprietary EXT mini USB port which is used for charging and data syncing. On the right side of the device we got the two stage camera shutter button. You hold it on um, halfway down to focus and all the way down to actually shutter the key. And up on top we just have this very slight indentation where we can put our fingernail in there and rip off the back cover. Here we got the 3.0 megapixel camera on the back of the phone as well as the speaker grill. You'll see it does have a slight mirrored reflection to it, so I guess you could kind of see yourself when taking a picture. The with Google branding, but other than that, that's about it. It's rumored to only shoot a very low resolution video of 480 by 320 so don't expect the best video recording quality off of this. Again, we have a little indentation to get off the back cover, so we can just peel it off on the back. This reveals the camera and speaker and um, SIM card tray in more detail. That's where the SIM card tray goes. Again, this is the 1100 milliamp hour battery. And um, that's about it for the external features of the phone. This thing packs a very small 192 megabytes of RAM and 256 megabytes of ROM. And is powered by Qualcomm's 528 megahertz MSM 7K processor. So again, not the fastest device out there. But this was put out um, about two, three years ago. So you wouldn't expect it to be on par with some of the other devices there. You can see the LED notification light blinking right there. Other than that, that's my full advanced hardware review of the phone itself. So thanks for watching my video of the advanced hardware review of the T-Mobile G1. Make sure you guys rate this video a thumbs up slash favorite the video and comment letting me know if you could change one thing on the hardware of the T-Mobile G1 specifically, what would you change and why? And subscribe and make sure you guys follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash androidsworld and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.